not just for beaches and parties. Here are three offbeat adventure activities that I'm going to be trying right here in Goa. Goa for many is a place to enjoy the beaches, breeze and booze. But this time around on my trip to Goa, I wanted to try something absolutely different. Being an adventure junkie, I'm here to take all you adventure enthusiasts out there to some of the most offbeat things to do here in Goa, be it fly in the sky or in the water. Come along with me. So I'm going to start off with a power packed adventure activity which is called as fly boarding. This is the first time that I'm going to be trying something like this. I had seen it in one of the Bollywood movies uh, where Hrithik Roshan was doing it and I knew that I had to do it. This is the Chapura River in Agarwada and I'm going to be doing this activity with Fly Boarding India which is one of the certified fly boarding companies in India as well. So let me go take you through the whole process. <laughs> Fly boarding, the rider has to stand on a board connected by a long hose to a watercraft. The water is forced under pressure to a pair of boots with a jet nozzle underneath, which provides the thrust for the rider to fly up. I personally found this activity extremely challenging as it requires a lot of thigh strength to be able to hold and balance the water pressure. In spite of the training and techniques, I managed to lose balance and fell very hard, but I wouldn't say I didn't enjoy the experience. I feel like my legs have got all the exercise it needs. Fly boarding is definitely not a child's play. It feels amazing to be in the air and kind of have that control when you're up in the air. But you need a lot and lot of leg strength and to kind of have that synchronization and balancing movement with your legs is very, very important. After all those failed attempts, my uh, legs and hands are absolutely red after falling into the water so many times. But definitely I'm going to try this next time for sure and get even better at it. So it's definitely worth a try. My next adventure activity is for all the thrill seekers. I am going bungee jumping. I have reached the jump in height which is in Mayam Lake in Bicholim in North Goa. I am going to head for a mini briefing before I take a dive from there. After reaching the jump in heights, we headed to the briefing room to understand the do's and don'ts and also signed a disclaimer form. The ideal weight allowed to do this is between 40 to 110 kgs and age limit is 12 to 45 years and there are no chances of any risks. So I'm heading to the jump zone now. Bungee jumping is an activity that always takes place from a fixed platform and here the height that we're going to be jumping from is 55 meters. I've actually done bungee jumping twice before. The first time was in South Africa from the tallest bridge in the world and the second time was up north of India from one of the highest valley peaks. So this time I'm quite excited to try this activity right here in Goa. I am at a height of 180 feet, which is approximately 16 to 18 floors. The view is great, there's greenery all around, coconut trees with the Mayam Lake below. So how this works at the Jumpin' Heights is that once you come up to the jumping zone, the jump masters will give you a mini briefing before you take your jump. Uh, there are three safety protocols that are taken place. Uh, there are two harnesses. One is the body harness and one is the primary ankle harness that is attached to your feet. And there is a rubber cord that is also attached to your ankle and for safety it's attached to your backup harness as well. And there are no chances of any dangers whatsoever. Three, two, one, go for it. That was definitely one hell of an experience. The adrenaline rush is totally worth it. I'm going to suggest everybody who goes bungee jumping the next time to please dive instead of going for the normal free fall as it just adds to the thrill even more. So 
I'm all ready and geared up to enjoy an adventure sunset in the sky. I'm here at Grand Hyatt Bambolim where I'm going to be going for fly dining 160 feet in the sky to enjoy a three course meal, some music and cocktails. Let's go. <laughs> So if you're up for some adventure in the sky, Fly Dining Goa provides a unique way to dine 16 feet in the sky while you enjoy the views of the sea, cool breeze and coconut trees. They provide a three course meal that comes with a starter, main course and dessert along with one round of mocktail. The pricing starts from 2,999 for breakfast and high tea and goes up to 4,599 for sundowner, sunset and dinner per person. While the experience and views were worth it all, we feel the menu and quantity could be better. So if you plan to dine in an adventurous way, here's your pick. Well, that was it on today's video, trying out some of the offbeat adventure activities in Goa. So if you're coming to Goa and would like to do something different apart from relaxing, beaches and parties, then you know where to come. If you found this video useful enough, please do let us know in the comments below and also tag the people who you would like to try the adventure activities with. Until then, this is me, Bianca Saurashtri. I'll see you soon.